uh, Mr. Schwanier, can you just tell us a little bit about um, why we're here today and what your paper's about that's being published in Science this coming Friday, January 29th? The paper that's coming out on Friday is about a new uh, carnivorous or meat-eating dinosaur, and that dinosaur is named Haplochirus solers, and that name means simple, skillful hand. And what's interesting about this animal is it's a member of this group of carnivorous dinosaurs called the Alvarezsauroidea. And the Alvarezsauroidea are characterized by these really puny little forearms with huge claws on the end. And so this new dinosaur is the earliest known member of this group. So tell me a little bit about why this discovery and um, you know, your description in this research is so important. Sure. Okay. Well, there's, there's two reasons um, that Haplochirus is so important. And one is um, this group, the Alvarezsauroids, they were only known... Um, from about 85 million years ago um, until very recently. And so Haplochirus is 160 million years old. And so this is like finding your great, great, long lost grandfather or something, except that grandfather lived 65 million years before your last known relative. Um, so that's one of the reasons. It really extends our fossil record a lot. And then the other reason that Haplochirus is so important is it's a transitional fossil it sort of fills in a gap in the evolution of what I was telling you before is this really short forearm with a huge claw. Well, Haplochirus's arm is a little bit longer, and the claw is a little bit smaller, but we can still tell it's the first evolutionary step towards this bizarre short morphology, or this short shape that we see. Um, and so it's a transition. We're seeing uh, the first step in an evolutionary process. Mr. Schwanier, can you explain the relationship of this new species of dinosaurs to that of birds? Well, this group, the Alvarezsauroidea, um, in addition to this really short, uh, puny arm, they have a few other features of the skeleton that are, that are really interesting. And one of the things they have is this really pronounced keel on the sternum. And uh, actually, you can see this on the chicken right here. Um, this keel here is uh, a feature you see in Alvarezsauroids, too. And uh, based on that evidence and based on some other skeletal evidence, when we first described members of this group, we thought, oh, bingo, they are primitive birds. They have short arms so they can't fly. They must have been running around and they're an offshoot of birds. Um, and then subsequent research started to uh, put that uh, conclusion in doubt. Um, we found a few more fossils that are a little older and it looked like, boy, they, maybe they don't you know, share relatives with, uh, they're not that closely related to birds. And what Haplochirus definitively shows, and now we can really um, say this with some, some accuracy, is that Alvarezsauroids aren't birds. Uh, they're theropod dinosaurs, so they're closely related to birds, but they aren't actually an offshoot of birds themselves. Um, and so it clarifies that position quite a bit.